In this episode, I'll show you how to create new settlement. But first, let me show you how to override an existing settlement. So first, let's create our own mod folder. Let's name it Overriding Settlement. Let's go to Module Data of Sandbox and take the settlement. Let's make our own module data. We'll paste it here. We're gonna take the submodules XML from Sandbox Core as it is easier to edit. Now let's match the name of our mod folder to the ID. And let's delete what we don't need here. There's no settlement XML here. So we can create it manually or take the safer route which is the original submodules of settlement. So let's copy the XML node and paste it into our submodule. Save and let's see here. You must load it first before sandbox, but in case that it cannot be moved upward, then that means dependent module is in sandbox. So you can remove it. Now let's edit our settlements XML. Let's take Glicaron as our experiment. And let's change the name into a sample name changer. Let's take the ownership, but I'm not sure if this is the ID of the player clan. So let's check it. So it doesn't have any capital in it. Now let's change the prosperity and test our mode. Now you know that you did right when there's a relation change with the notables. Now see here that the town is owned by the main player and see here that the name is not changed. The prosperity and the ownership are loaded once but the name is loaded after sandbox. So it can be changed anytime, ownership cannot. So let's save this and let's change the name or the loading order. Let's load it after sandbox. And see that the name has been changed. I didn't start a new game here so it can be changed anytime mid game. Now let's start our tutorial about creating our new settlement. Let's rename it into a creating new settlement and let's change the ID in our submodule. Now let's go into the sandbox in our scene object, main map, copy it, and let's create our own scene object folder. Place the main map here. So let's open scene.xscene in our XML. Note that this editor or this scene.xscene will be 
very laggy and even though I am using a high-end PC or mid-end this will be laggy now let's take Poros as our capid town and its bound settlement Now let's change the name just for identity and the ID must be different from the original so that it won't overwrite it. Same goes with the ID of the villages and the ID in the village. Now let's find this in a scene that exim this is responsible for the appearance of your town. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to duplicate the game entities which is the town. But it seems I'm lagging. So, I'm gonna skip the video here. So, I have lagged for 3 minutes and I will paste the whole content of SynXSyn to another text and save it as an XML so that I can edit it here without lag. Here, I will paste the copied game entity which is town ES33 uh, I will do the same for the villages so I will fast forward from here the so scene x scene will be automatically loaded and this will be loaded instead of the original. So having a mod with two scene x scene will conflict each other so the workaround with it is merging them. This will be the final appearance of our copied file. I have compressed it so that it can be seen because this is very very long. Now you see here that this is overlapping. Also the villages. Now let's take our position this should be the x and the y and let's copy it here now let's save it and load so towns can be edited anytime their position but as you can see here the gate is still in the poros but as you can see this is working just fine let's go inside and see here this should be the poros or the copy of it and this is on the ground let's raise it a little this should be the height or the elevation. Let's load. So it, this is too high, but this is just a draft because optimizing this and polishing our mode will take hours and sometimes even the whole day. So let's take or let's paste this into our gate position so that we can enter it here
let's also do this in a tree settlement or villages This is my old experiment, the looters. Now let's load our game. Now the top, we can enter here. But the town is still here because I didn't change it in our scene, X scene. But let's change this also. We should match. A little trivia, but scene, X scene. Or these game entities can exist in game without the settlement XML. So you will see there an empty tower you cannot enter, but they will appear in game. But you cannot have a settlement XML without sin X sin. It will crash. Now see here, this is still bound in poros because we didn't change the bound settlement. So now let's change it. The bound settlement has the ID of the poros, so let's change it. Trade village and bound village is different. You can be bound to a poros, but the trade can be bound to other settlement, just like a castle. Since a castle doesn't have any trade or merchants, it should be bound to other settlement. Or it is trade bound to the other settlement. See here that this is the project or the village type inside our SP projects. This is new, the three horses, because before I think this is just a horse horse breed or something. Let's just try silver mine because it is not in SP project. Now let's See why it why it didn't change. The bond is correct. Maybe maybe it needs a new game. So let's start a new game. You see now that this is bound to a new settlement after a new game. This is perfectly placed, but the ship is embedded in the ground. The other towns or settlement, the other villages needs polishing but I won't be doing it here because it will take so much time. But I'll try to raise it, let's name it by the numbers. Rotate this so that maybe the ship can be corrected you can see here that there's a scale you can do this in a tower you can change the scale of the town you can make it double the size or half its size it depends on you now it is too high but here it's still so low it's it's hard to fix it
you can change the appearance of your village like this, the props, based on the scene x scene. Just search this village in scene x scene, but you must obtain the ID in the settlement XML first, and you will see that the village prop will be changed once you copied it. See here that you can pass through a settlement because this is an XML editing and maybe it was planned to be used along a tool or a modding tool so that it will generate the collision. Let's try to siege this town to see the siege icon in this town. Let's change the owner of the town into a random clan and let's create a new game declare war with the northern empire Let's take some troop. Many will desert. We will take 20,000 army. And see here that the icons are not visible, but it is still there. We need to adjust it so that it will be level with the ground. Let me show you here. For example, when we siege this, you see here that the ground is almost level and it is adjusting based on the roughness of the ground. So let's try here. Maybe we can spawn at least one, one icon. Let's load and let's siege this. Now you can see it adjusted to the angle of the ground, but some are still not leveled enough. So this concludes our tutorial in creating a settlement. Please subscribe if this helps you and see you on the other videos. Thank you for watching.